Hello everyone. Welcome to my study table where management concepts are made easy. Today I will take you through a topic that comes under the purview of macroeconomics that is the circular flow of economic activities and income. Through this you will understand how economic activities within an economy are organized, how they interact with each other and how monetary flows are generated and circulated amongst different participants of the economy. Meanwhile, do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and click the bell icon so you never miss any updates from me. Let me first introduce you to the Jones family. They will help us understand how individuals like you and I form an important part in the circular flow of economic activities and contribute to the flow of money within an economy. But we will keep that for later. Let's first understand the concept of circular flow of economic activities. We'll start by understanding how economic activities are organized when there exists only three sectors that is the household, the industry and the government. This is called the three sector model. Now the household provides the industry with factors of production that includes land, labor, capital and entrepreneurship. The industry comprising of many firms utilize these factors of production to create products and services in other words the output this output is purchased by the household the industry pays for the factors of production in the form of rent wages interest and profit this is the monetary flow or the money income that flows from the industry to the household while the payments made by the household to purchase the goods and services is the money income that flows to the industry coming to the interaction between the household and the government the government supplies various public goods provides infrastructure and employment opportunities to the household it gets resources from the household in terms of labor or people working in different government offices for which the government pays wages or salary it also receives taxes for the various public goods and infrastructure it provides now let's see the interactions between the government and the industry the government provides infrastructure public goods provides subsidies and offers industrial contracts to the industries while the industry pays taxes to the government and this is the real and the monetary flow between the two entities financial markets also feature into this three sector model as the household the government and the industry not only invest in the financial markets but also take funding or loans from the markets for their operations this sums up the three sector model now let's have a look at the four sector model that now includes the foreign sector and its economic interactions in the four sector model the interactions between the household the government and the industry remain as we discussed in the three sector model and so does the interaction between the three sectors and the financial market the addition here is the foreign sector and its interactions with the others an economy would have imports and exports of products with other global economies there would also be exchange of factors of production like labor from household to the foreign sector in exchange of salary capital from the foreign sector into the industry and the financial markets in the form of fdi or foreign direct investment and fii that is foreign institutional investment from which the foreign sector earns returns also there would be a component of exchange of goods and services in the form of imports and exports between the foreign sector and the industry helping both on revenue income this completes the circular flow of economic activities and the income under the four sector model Now coming back to the example of the Jones family let's see how they fit into the circular flow as we know they are a part of the household sector the Jones family live in their own house that Richard had built when he retired from his service in 2010 he has been earning pension ever since his pension goes into paying household expenses and investing a substantial amount into the stock market and mutual funds while Martha takes care of the family and manages household purchases. Ryan works for a private sector firm as a manager, while Laura works for the postal department. 
So if we see the economic flow of activities to and from the Jones household to the industry, the government, the financial market and the foreign sector, we can summarize it this way. The Jones family have bank deposits and other investments on which they earn returns from the financial market. While Laura gets salary from the government for her service in the postal department, the Jones family pays taxes to the government for their house property, income and gains from the investments. Ryan gets salary from the industry sector and Richard gets pension as well. Meanwhile, the Jones family consumes products and services provided by the industry and the foreign sector for which they make monetary payments. And this is how the circular flow of economic activities and income happen in an economy. I hope you liked this simple presentation on the circular flow of economic activities and income. Do send me your likes and comments. Meanwhile, do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you never miss any updates from me. Here's to happy learning now and always.